she's moving on. She's getting out of the soul, she's moving south of soul, and she's moving on. Now the chinkies are walking up the three by five, the youngsters running down the other side, they're moving on. They're moving on. They may be getting close to a shack and a post, but they keep moving on. And she says to people, I just can't stand. It's the North Korean and the Chinaman, so I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm heading home, no more to Rome. I'm moving on. Oh, when you hear the patter of tiny feet, it's the fat yank dip in full retreat. They're moving on. Yes, moving on. They're getting out of the soul. They're moving south of soul. They're moving on. Like a drink. Right, boy, oh, now you've asked for it. Now reach. Oh, no, no, so get chappy. I'm too young to die. been found guilty of a grave breach of military discipline and good order, and that you have negligently discharged a firearm, accidentally causing the death of Private Charles Lloyd. The sentence of this court-martial is that you serve a term of six months' imprisonment with loss of all privileges in the military corrective establishment at Kure, Japan. Private Thomas, stop. Name, rank, number. Uh, Thomas, private, double two seven zero seven double eight nine five, stop. Regiment or corps? RAMC, stop. Lungs, what are they for? Use them. I want to be heard all over the combat. I want everyone here. Royal Army Medical Corps, stop. Better, better. Let's get together. building there at the double. Move! Left, right, left, right! Where is up, John? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left! Prisoner! Halt! Right! 
Empty your pockets of all personal items under this bag and tip all your kid out onto the floor. Then get yourself stripped and under the shower. Sharpish. Come on, wake up. Blue Ben? Stop. Get him under the shower and scrub that goop smell off him. Sharp now. Move! No, sorry, mate. I don't... Shut up over there or you'll be for the high jump. Get him over here, Blue Ben. Stand up. Stand up! Stop that towel. Right. Get that new gear on as fast as you like. You can keep these personal items. You'll get the rest back when you graduate. These will go with you for cleaning. Mess kit, water bottle, knife, fork, spoon set, helmet, core badge. New webbing to be scrubbed. You have three days to get it white, right? Yes, sir. Now get this clear. While you're a prisoner under sentence in this establishment, you will obey all orders, all commands, as sharp as a whip. You hear? Y yes, sir. You will double. Shove that kid in your kid bag. You will double everywhere outside your cell block. You will obey, obey, obey. At all times, you will be a model soldier. You keep your nose clean, you can earn up to one third of your sentence in remission. If you do not, you'll be jumped on hard and regular, right? Yes, yes, sir. Your kit will be perfect at all times. Any failure on your part to keep your kit in order will result in each instance in punishment diet one or two. That's meatless diet, or bread and water, or extra fatigue drill, or the lot at the same time, so watch it. You will refer to all s establishment staff as staff. Wackery, understand? Yes, staff. Pick up that kit. You play ball with us, we'll play ball with you. Blue band, hand him over to staff Tucker in block three. Double! nose on that line. Line stuff? That line there. Put your nose on it. Down nose to the line. No! Position of attention. Line to attention. Right. Can you see the line? Yes, stop. That is a fence. Say after me. That is a fence. I must not cross the fence. That is the fence. I must not cross the fence. If you're found on this side of the fence, it will be looked on as an attempted escape. You hear? Yes, stop. Right. Get as close as you can to the floor. Is that as low as you can get? Yes, stop. But that's how low you are and how low you'll stay while I'm around, understand? Yes, stop. Don't ever talk about your rights, because you have no rights or privileges in this. Can't be that clear? Yes, stop. Right, get off. What's that insolent look on your face for? Get your nose to the line! That's better. Right. <laughs> if I ever see insolence in your face again, I'll kick your teeth out. Clean up! Stop! I want his kit laid out and him ready for kit inspection on meal parade in 15 minutes flat. Get up! Get into your hole. Hey. 
Just in case you're interested, that staff took us. He's an Aussie, all the way from Udersfield. He transferred the Australian army about, oh, three years ago. He's a bastard, so watch him. Now, look, you better watch this too. You won't get another chance. No. Sorry. Now, you lay your ground sheet out like that, you see? So you can't see the stitching and the blankets at the top there like that. Only need to. Hey, 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 you! I'm not talking for the good of me health, you know. You're listening, are you? Well, it's all right, relax. I'm not going to eat you. Now, I want all this scrubbed with chlorine till it's white. And you lay all your gear out, like that, you see? So you can see your regimental number and your name. Do I have to draw a mattress from stores? Mattress? <laughs> you don't get a mattress here, lad. You sleep on the deck here. Blankets is all you get. Now, polish your brasses. Rub all these brasses on a bit of cardboard with some brass on. And later on, I'll give you a bit of polish for your helmet. Helmet? Oh, you polish everything here, mate. You polish your helmet here. <laughs> ah, it's not too bad for the first go. Now, have a look at that picture. What, the, uh, the kid layout? Yes, like that it's got to be. Only spotless. Now, what's your name? It's Thomas. Thomas T. H. O. M. A. S. Taffy, are you? Taffy Thomas. Oh, I was your last three then. Eight, nine, five. Eight, nine, five. Right. My name's O'Brien. Block cleaner. I'm you on the block, it's allowed to move around the block. A special privilege, you know. You can call me Scouse, I'm from Liverpool. What you in here for? Me? Oh, I had to punch up with the Yank MP in the Newmarket Roadhouse back in Korea. Trouble is, I had to take on all his mates as well. I've got nine months. <laughs> I'm tight. Oh, I don't mind. I'm used to it. I've got plenty of form back home in Liverpool, you know. That's a tough town, you know. That's a place where the bugs ate the baby and threw the cradle out the window. <laughs> anyway, that's where it's got to be. Take a good look. What you in here for, then? I um, had an accident with a stem. All right. Anybody get hurt? I'm beating cleaner, unless you want my boot in your guts. Get fell in, but took a parade a pair of you. You can do that after. Get up! Grab your eating eyes. We need a plate in, you know. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you got a bit of combat, have you? Got your knees brown, right? Well, I was on C55 for about any look. Oh. Hey. Hey. What part of Wales did you come from? Us? Yeah, I don't oh, mm. I don't use the proper Welshman. Hey. You know Tiger Bay, then? Oh, I. Charlie Shock, that is. Oh. Mm. It's a tough place, that, you know. That is Scotty Road in the pool. A lot of good blokes come from there. Oh, oh, oh. Are you Catholic, are you? No. No, I used to go to Gospel Law. Well, I'll tell you what. You want to say you're a Catholic while you're here? Take instruction from a Catholic padre. He's a good bloke, you know. Let's have a smoke on the fly, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, Hang on a minute, Jack. Hey, can I have a light? Hang on, don't light it. Well, is it for me? Yes, yes, it's for you, but... Uh... Hey, you. A new block. Max! Excuse that note. What for? I don't mean what for. Just get it here. Well, get it here, boy. You're going to give it to him, Tom? Why should I? Looks if you're not going to get it, Jack. That's too bad. Stop it then. But you wait, your Welsh get. Hey. Mm. You'll be all right, don't you worry. That's what I like to see. Don't let them come dirty over here. 
Do you want to watch him now? He's a bastard. Right, drop him in, move. We haven't lit this yet, Dad. Drop him in, lit, or don't lit. Drop him in when you're told and sharp. Come on, lad. Drop him in now. Drop him in. Ah, come on. I should have talked in you if you have to look for one day. I said button it again and take that look of your face or I'll wipe it off. Right. On your feet. Rise. Hot. Now, back to the bunkhouse and let your sucker settle. Double. Ah! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, get out of the needle! Come on. Blue band. What do you think this filthy's doing here and this has been? Get it cleaned up sharp or you'll be on a fitter and lose that blue band. <coughs> right. Shut the door when you're told to shut the door, not before. Is that his staff? Yes. What a filthy mess. Have you been cooking Tucker in these billies or something? His staff. Well, get some brick dust from O'Brien and work on them. Where have you come from now? Korea staff. Yes, where was your unit? I was attached to an infantry unit from 38th Field Ambulance staff. Oh, Field Ambulance. I see. A medic. Hmm. A non-competent. Are you a consci? What's that? Are you a conscientious objector, one of these pacifists? I, I don't know, staff. That's it says in my paybook, staff. I'm trying to be funny. No, they're not. They can think. Well, what sentence did you get? Six months, I think, staff. You think you could have fooled me. What for? I let a gun go off by accident, sir. Oh, a gun! Oh, I see. Yeah, well, I hope, uh, I hope no one was in the way when this gun went off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you mean you also hope no one was in the way, or do you mean somebody was in the way? Sir? Did you hit anybody with a bullet from the gun? Well, it was an accident. My mate got hit in, in the back of a lorry. <sighs> what sort of soldier do they have in the British bloody army, I'd like to know? Have you not been told to treat all weapons as if they're loaded and therefore dangerous? Of course you have. It stands to reason. I forgot, sir. He forgot, told me. What kind of a lame brain have I been landed with here? So, you shot your maid, you dumb bastard. Where? In the back of this lorry. I mean, where did a bullet hit him? A lot of bullets hit him. In the chest, sir. It... Chest? You're lucky it didn't kill him. It was a stem gun and it went off by accident and wouldn't stop, sir. He died straight away. It was an accident. Accident, nothing. I've heard that song before. Bastards like you were only too ready to cry accident after it's done. And they give you six months, eh? Hmm? The right six months is all you get. Oh, when you've come to the right block, you have. You put one foot wrong, son. One foot wrong and I'll have your guts on a plate. I'll teach you not to have accidents with guns ever again. I'll personally guarantee that. I get cracking. Bloody filling painted before I come and drift all together. Hey, Harry, can you fix us up with a couple of quid till payday? <coughs> Depends on how much you want. Three. No, make it four and bung money if you've got it. You going to see us, Sheila? Well, uh, I'm going to get this place washed out of my system first. They got some fosters over in Curry House. I'm going to get a skin full of that and then uh, down to Hiroshima to see about some oats. <laughs> you flaming ram. Watch out for the plague. As long as my name's in that PAC book, mate. Wow. Hey, if they've got any bottle fosters or swan, bring me back a bottle, will you? Good on you, Harry. I'll uh, have a couple of goes for you, mate. <laughs> I know that's <coughs> it.
Italian stallion, and I've got to stay here. Hello, Harry, old sundown. You want tonight? Oh, blimey, that's... That's made my day. Excuse me, Tom. I'm going to get some fresh air. Yeah, boy. Oh, I don't know. You think they could do something about the messing facilities in this camp, wouldn't you, eh? And the Aussie mess, we have anything like, you know. You know that? We can. We can have ice, orange juice, ice, tomato juice, coffee, tea, lemons, peaches, ice cream, anything you want. Yeah. And look at that fan. Hey, you've got to watch the thing to make sure it's moving, haven't you? Oh, God. Taste that, Tom. It's thick with chloride, thick with the stuff. Take the water, thank you. Well, you think with all the modern inventions they've got nowadays, they'll find some way of taking off that taste. Well, why don't you stop beefing? I don't know why we put up with it. It does not taste of chloride in the Aussie lines, you know. And why don't you go down to the Aussie lines to drink it, then? Ah, well, it's too far all the way to here, though. No, but I mean, it's the principle of the thing. Well, I'm sure we'd be prepared to fix the British camps up with decent Aussie supplies if it wasn't for the stupid pride of your age, Coop. What do you mean, stupid pride? Well, I mean, over in Korea, your blokes have a hard time, it, don't they? Hey, don't they? Well, just the other day, you know, the Australian government offered to make the British Tommies pay up to Aussie standard, and do you know what they said? I don't want to know. Yeah, well, there you are, you're just the same. Look, I don't want to know any more about anything. If things are so dinkum in the Aussie line, why don't you go down there for good and give us a bit of peace from your carping? Yeah, I damn well could, too. Well, I tell you, you could. They treat you as if you had the pox down there, and you know it. But. You ask any Australian that knows me, you hard-faced pommy bastard! You lousy turtle You call me a pommy! You call me that again and I'll punch a hole in you! Yeah, go on then, go on! I'll have a strike to ground for fucking Take it sorry. easy, Tommy. Take it easy, not worth it! You bloody boy! You better go cool it somewhere else! Go on! All right, stick it, buddy frog. I'll go cool it. Sugar? What was that little performance about? Oh, uh, I think it's Tucker. Says I came a bit too close to putting his face in the swing, that's all. Well, not in the mess, Tommy, not in the mess. Temper's afraid enough around here as it is. Come and have a chat with me tomorrow. I will not stand for brawling in the mess. Is that understood, Stout Pearson? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Come on, let me give you a licking at cards, huh? <laughs> well, that'll be the day. You let me do it. Come on, Eddie. Well, we got 20 minutes yet for the last parade. All right, deal up. Okay. Nice mug of tea for you there, Harry. <laughs> Would you like the fuck, Harry? Oh, roll your own if you like. I've got the makings. Hmm? Oh, here. That reminds me. I got a Banjo Patterson book the other day. Now it's Swain's in Pitt Street, isn't it? No, the pleasure, mate. Banjo Patterson. You know it, uh, the man from Snowy River, was it? Uh, there was movement at the station because the word had gone around that the colt from old regret had got away. It was um, running with the Brumbies and was worth £10,000. There was movement at the station for the word had passed around that the colt from old regret had got away and had joined the wild bush horses. He was worth £1,000. So all the cracks had gathered to the fray. If you must keep it up, for God's sake, don't murder the verse. Oh, you know it. Well, if I did, I'd be the only Australian who was ignorant of it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Harry, but I thought you liked Banjo Patterson. I do, but not for every flaming meal. And leave my bed alone in future, will you? Well, if you want to finish it. Well, well not nothing. I... Leave it alone, man. I've got two hands of my own. Leave all my gear alone. And look, Tucker, 
Do you have to wear that silly Woolamaloo bash in your hat? And what kind of an example is that to the men? You're a provost staff sergeant, not an infantry foot slogger. You're a... Oh, pull your head in. Get some sleep. Um, Harry, um, Harry, could, could you just talk to me for a few minutes? Oh, strike me lucky. Ah, uh, I'm listening. Start here bashing me. What do you want to talk about? Uh, politics, religion, wool yield? There's nothing else to do except sleep. Well, I, I don't want to keep you from your sleep, Harry. Not at all. Go ahead, tell Uncle Harry. Tell him all about it and then we'll get some sleep. Well, uh, well, it's uh, this bloke in my block, you know. Um, yeah. Well, he, he shot a friend of his with a stand, you see, and uh, well, he says it was an accident. Yeah. Well, it's just that I've got a theory about that kind of bloke. You know, they, uh, they have something like that happen, and, and, and then they say it's an accident. It's really very interesting, all that. Uh, there's a book about that kind of thing once. What kind of thing? Well, uh, accidents in which people get killed, you know what I mean? Uh, I asked this head shrinker about it once to see, and uh, he said, um, yeah, no, just a minute to get it right. Um, oh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Now, look, this is it. If I, if I clap you on the shoulder, you see, <laughs> like that, when we meet in the street, now, that, that means I've got no hard feelings for you, do you understand? But, uh, listen to this. If I hit you like that, you see, with a clenched fist, no matter how pally we may be with each other, that means that, really, deep down in my, um, subconscious, whatever you call it, I really want to do you harm. Do you understand? So this bloke that picked up a sten and pointed it at his mate, I reckon he really wanted to do him harm, you see, whether he knew it or not. Hey, hey, because otherwise he'd never, he'd never have picked up a sten and pointed at him in the first place, would he? So it's not an accident at all, you see? No. I don't believe in all that malarkey anyway. There's no need for you to get so knotted up about it either. Good night. Get out, get out, get out! Come on, you honorable soldier. Get out of the house. 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 Get out of special treat for you layabouts today. We've got that nice French gentleman from the Van Doos taking you over the assault course today. And I don't want to hear anyone's packed up on him. Do you hear me, killer? Hey? There's no room for weaklings on the assault course. This afternoon, you're back with me for weapon cleaning and instruction. Right. Block. 
Lay white on it, you horrible previous soldier. Lay white. Fire up a double. Ha! Blue bands to brush the sand on your compound, Sir Tucker. Yes, sir, today, sir. And the uh, block step could do with a coat of paint. Give the stones a new coat of white lime before my next inspection, will you? Thank you, sir. charge, Mr. Edwards. Idle man, filth will not be tolerated. Sir. Uh, Thomas, a new man. Well, give him time. Good. Good. Anyone do any smoking in this block, stuff? Oh, no, sir. Definitely not, sir. That's strange. We'll get all the windows opened up. Sir. Kit, good. Next. Carol. Look at this staff. Isn't this the man who cut up all his kit and attacked one of the staff? Yes, sir. Well, look at the kit now. Not a hope in hell of straightening him out by using velvet gloves. On a charge, Mr. Edwards. Those for solitary confinement and bread and water will shake him up a little. Sure. Thanks. Uh, good. I don't want anyone smoking in this block, you hear? You hear? Yes, sir. Your gear ready packed behind your door, go with stuff the breck. Seven days solitary on bread and water diet. I through it. Oh! Higgins, O'Hara, no days to the fence. Higgins, your kit is to pay. Two days restricted I. O'Hara, your Peter doorway is inches deep in filth. Two days loss of remission and two days restricted I. Fall out, fall in outside, and your rifles. Hold! Ha! Come on, move yourself to that! Good! Take up! Ha! Right. Now today we have naming of parts. Give me your rifle. Oh, sorry, your, uh, your gun. Tell us. Oh, an accident, sir. Ah, to attention now, no insolence. For your information, that is the way you hold a rifle, not like a ruddy hockey stick. Squad, pod, ha! Ease, spring. Right, Thomas, stop. Did you watch that? Yes, stop. Right, one face forward, killer. You're the weapons man, do it. <laughs> Shut up! You'll have to do better than that, killer, on your feet, on your feet! Now, for your information, for your information, you are trying to learn how to catch a rifle, and I am vainly trying to teach you. Here! 
Both of them throw it back. Yes, son, you'll learn. You'll really know your weapons by the time I finish with you. Good. Give us your rifle. That's the way to throw a rifle. Cut, put it. Ha! Five paces backward. Thomas standing fast. Ma! One, two, three, four, five, four. Now then, Thomas. I'm going to find out what you're made of. Hmm? I'm going to discover just how much of a killer you really are. And when you've had enough, all you've got to do is just tell me the truth about what happened to that mate of yours in the back of that truck. I told you before it was an accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on, son. Get on your feet. Go on. Swivel butt, butt plate, butt trap containing oil bottle, pull through and four by two. Stop! Ah! <laughs> uh, Join it, are you? Come on, man. Oh! Ooh! Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! We'll see. You'll bend you bastard before I will. Get ready! Shoot! Shoot on the arm! Cut free! Hut! Have a short tail to the armory! Double! Ha! Left, right, left, right! Line zero. You give me Sergeant Major Fowl. Captain Zinni, stuff to the armory now, sir. Oh, hello, Bluey. Uh, Jack Edwards here. Well, no, I haven't had a chance. <laughs> I will when I can. Oh, now, look, Blue. It's about your Staff Sergeant Tucker, RAR. No, not yet, but he is a pain in the backside. Oh, oh, oh like that, is it? Well, I'll tell you what I want you to do. To send me a rundown on your reasons for posting him here. No, of course not. I'll keep it confidential. I'll let you know when it happens. Right, turn up. <sighs> now, they must have had a reason for posting him here. If we're going to find the same reason, we can arrange a nice little posting to 25 Field Attention at Seoul. Well, he's got to go, sir. Well, next time it won't be me who takes a poke at him. we one of the Aussies who have to live with him. Yes, well, I don't want any more shenanigans in my mess. Oh, I'm sorry about that, sir. We've got to find a way around our problem. He's got to go. We've got to find some way to make him stick his neck out. And then we can jump him. No, I don't think so. Now, look, sir. Either you have a complete breakdown of staff morale through his bitching, because no matter how much the staff dislike the bloke, he's bound to have some effect on their mood, or you find some means to get him out of your air. You think that's right? Not only do I think it's right, sir, I think it's our duty. All we've got to do is to find the bait, lay the trap, and jump him when he falls into it. It's our duty to the staff of the establishment. Well, then the first thing is, what bait to use? All right, Cynthia, hey, all. Get on with your cleaning in an orderly manner. Clean up! Trust me once today, O'Brien. I know your game. I want to remember you, copper, so you tread lightly. Yes, stop. I right, get them locked up. And then you'd better get those buckets into your Peter for cleaning. They're not up to scratch, you know. You can work on them tonight, can't you? Woo!
Ralf Schneider bitte was going over for me, would you? Right. Right, no marks, man. Right, Stella. Have you changed your mind yet? Leave me alone. Come on, you silly little get. I want the truth, you hear? It was an accident. Oh, an accident. You hear that, Jockey? That's what he says. Come on, man. Say it now. Come on. You'll only make it out of yourself, you know. I've got all the time in the world. Either you'll bend or I'll break you. Good. Uh, can you take her, the Welsh bastard? Ah, well, it's your own fault. I should have admitted it. That's all he got to do. He just, just got to say, I did it on purpose. That's all. But he won't. He won't. Well, I put the brute in the sludge. No. Let him think on. I'll make him bend even if it kills me. Go back to your piece of jock. It was accident. Stop it. What's this calling? Lad, to you, right? Are you? Look at you, man. How'd you do that? Nothing. That's a funny, ruddy nothing. Look at your nails. You're all blue. Who did that to you, lad? Tucker. Oh, now nice. you can have them done for that, you know. God, look at the state of it. You lose those nails, you know, now. I know. Tucker will be sorry one day. He's not going to break me, Scouse. I won't let him break me. Morning, Scouse. Everything in order? Yes, sir. How many on? Eight, sir. Plus the block cleaner, sir. Carol on solitary confinement, sir. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Very good, sir. Lock! Ah, uh, not now. Oh, great, sir. You're Thomas. Welsh boy, aren't you? Well, aren't you? Beg your pardon, sir? Is something the matter? No, sir. Nothing wrong, sir. I see. I asked you if you were a Welsh boy. Yes, sir. Well, I'm from Cardiff, sir. Hmm. You know Caerphilly? Yes, sir. 
My girlfriend comes from there, sir. Small world. How did your kit get in this state? I've been working hard on it, sir. Well, not bad for a couple of days. Keep up the good work. What's wrong with that hand, Thomas? Signed. Nothing stopped. How did this happen? Nothing happened, sir. I see. Stop, Tucker. Yes, sir. How did this man's hand get in this condition? Oh. Well, I, I've not seen that before, sir. I don't know, sir. Right. Stop, Tucker. Sir. Stand here, please. Very good, sir. Stop, Pearson. Stop. Get the man telling in on Stop, Tucker's marker. Single rank. Well, Stop, Tucker's mark. Single rank. Two to the right, two to the left. Five men all. Hold in. Now listen closely, you men. This soldier has suffered an injury to his right hand. I want to know how, when, and where it was done, and by whom. Any man who knows anything at all about this injury, one pace forward. Right. <coughs> Thomas. Now look at that hand. Good, look at it. Look at those nails, man. Look. See? O'Brien. Now you've all seen it, haven't you? Now, as this is a recent wound, it seems strange that no one, not one single man on this block, seems to have seen it happen. Neither has it been reported to the medical inspection room. It is obviously painful, and yet Thomas chooses to forget how it happened, for some reason best known to himself. Now, remember, next time it may not be Thomas. It may be one of you, with some notable exceptions. Now, any man with the guts enough to help me, one page forward! No more than I expected from men of your caliber. Right, we'll try another way. O'Brien, did you do here a field? No, sir. You? No, sir. How about you? Not me, sir. You? No, sir. You? No, sir. You? No, sir. Gould, did you have anything to do with it? I've no been near him, sir. I didn't ask you for a map reference. Did you do the injury? Yes or no? No, sir, I didn't. You? No, sir. Well, it seems as if we've got a block full of wise monkeys. Unless Staff Tucker can shed any light on the matter? If I'd seen it happen, I'd have dealt with it straight away, sir. Of course you would, Staff. Right, get the men back in their cells. Sir. Aye, back into your cells, all of you. Woo! You hang about here, Tom. And you never word with the block cleaner. Keep Tucker away, sir. Now, you know what I'm after, O'Brien. You're the one with all the freedom around here. How is it you saw nothing? I know what's on your mind. You don't have to worry. There'll be no comeback on this one. And it won't be grassy. I don't know, sir. You don't know? You know damn well what's going on here. Now, come on out with it. Let's have some names. You know, I can't mention any names, sir. Oh, I know that you don't want to. I had the same trouble with you at Bielefeld. Yeah, but this isn't Bielefeld, sir. The staff's not the same, neither is the situation. What have you got against the staff, sir? There are a lot of little men in big boots here. Present company accepted, of course. Well, you're the biggest bloke in the camp, sir. Come on, O'Brien. Now, what's the score on this block? 
Thomas is having a hard time, too. Everybody is having a hard oh, time. Do us a favour, sir. You know what I mean. I mean, he's having a sight out of Tom and anybody. He's getting a lot thrown at him. Who's behind it? No name, sir. Staff Tucker. Gould. No name, sir. I see. Would you be prepared to sign a statement as to what you've witnessed? I didn't say I've witnessed anything, sir. Whether you witnessed it or not, would you be prepared to sign a statement? Oh, you know I can't do that, sir. I've already said more is good for me. Ah, maybe you have. Maybe next time you'll be the one to end up with the marks on him. You know better than that, sir. Right. Now, Tucker! Uh, Stand these buckets! See to it! Very good! Clean up! You'd better get stuck in the knees. No sand, no water, no dust, no nothing. Move! Now, my doors! On the command, fall out, fall in outside. Fall! Help! Ah, come to it, come to it, come to it. Come on, let me do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fine! Just about clinches it. Tucker must have had something to do with it. Resistance, victimization. Nothing we'd lay our hands on. Extreme tension and low morale of men in his control. Jonah, if ever there was one. I'll have more or less sad of his effect on this place, too, sir. Aye. Jonah. Get rid of him, sir. You'll have no more problems. No. Nah. But he is a substantive NCO. He's just so damn careful. He never makes a slip. Then make him make a slip, sir. Hmm? Lay a trap, sir. You've got the bait? Bait? The Welsh boy, Thomas. Those fingers. I know we couldn't pin it on Tucker, but it stands out a mile. Well, I've got to get that boy out of cell block three. If this sort of thing gets out, I'll have to carry the can. Wait a minute. Red bands. We'll move him to Red bands block. He'd be away from Tucker there. But his kitchen hell of a state, sir. No problem. Jenkins. Discharged to JRBD. We'll give his kit to Thomas. But Red Bands, sir? Aye, Red Bands. His kit is one of the best in the establishment. We'll give it to Thomas and then transfer the lad to the other Red Bands block as soon as the CO's inspection is over. Very clever, sir. I'll get you. Do you? Yeah. Killing two birds with one stone. Now, the tucker will only have two or three days to get the boy before the CO's inspection. If and when he does, you'll be watching. You know he'll do the boy an injury anyway. That's quite enough stuff, Pearson. I know what I'm doing. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. For the word of command. Wait. Wait. Now put it down. Slowly! Right, take him out. Speed up! Get rid of these. Well, how did you like that, eh? Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't think you can best me, killer. Don't you ever think that. You'll be glad to tell me the truth by the time I finish with you. You bastard. Why? Just because you've been roughed up a bit? It was an accident. Accident? Nothing. You're as guilty as a wagon load of Gestapo. But you're bent, sonny Jim. You're bent. Right, Jenkins. Into the orderly room and see about your posting. Jumping the gun of it, aren't you, sir? Backing a certainty. Saves me changing it after the next CO's inspection. I was down at the gymnasium earlier this afternoon, sir. Oh, and? Tucker's using the optional pursuit afternoon to give his mob some unarmed combat. Oh, that's something he is good at. Yeah. I looked in three times in two hours. Huh? And each time, Tucker's using Thomas as a dummy. A dummy? 
He'll feel like using him as a punch bag when he sees that kit. <laughs> Come on, come on, you try and move it up there, get it up. Everyone, hold your knees hard. Keep doubling. Keep doubling. Oh, hop! Oh. That's it. Ah, that's better. Right, I hope you've all learned something this afternoon. I hope you have learned how not to face an antagonist because you are privileged to have a master of how not to do things with you this afternoon. And here he is. You all know and love him. Give him a big hand. The master of the headbutt and the bronco kick. Horizontal champion of cell block three. Peter, stop! Clear you! Stop! You think you're playing at? Stop! What have you been up to with that kit? Fuck it, stop. What kit? That bloody kit. What have you done to it? I don't know. Looks all right to me. Something wrong with it, stuff? You know what's wrong with it as well as I do. No, look, here, stuff. That's not my kit. My kit's back there. I don't see anything wrong with that, though. That's all laid out properly. Shut up! Now, come on, you conniving drongo. Out with it. I don't know what you're on about, stuff. And do you mind? Your breath stinks. You're up to something, old Brian, but you'll not get away with it. Into your holes, or here! You too, O'Brien. You're off block cleaner as from now. I'll see to that. What am I supposed to do? As far as I'm concerned, O'Brien is a good block cleaner, and Thomas's kit is good because he's been working at it. File that Jenkins discharge of JRBD. Uh, yes. Well, O'Brien's very, he's very insolent, sir. He blocks me at every turn, sir. You know, I don't know what to make of you, Tucker. You come in here and expect me to take O'Brien off block cleaning just because Thomas has improved his kit. Where do you think O'Brien got the kit? What do you think he is, a bloody fiery godmother? Uh, no, sir, but... No sir. buts! Now, look, Tucker. If you want to take this further, you can. But I warn you, you'll get the wrong end of the stick. Now, on your way. I'm a busy man. Now, stop! All I want is one solid piece of evidence. One statement. And I'll come down on you like a ton of bricks. Are you with me? Close the door on your way out. O'Brien, just come out here a moment, would you? Uh, see here, O'Brien, I've been... Uh, well, I've been thinking this matter over, you see, and... Well, I've decided I'd better give you one more chance, right? Yeah. There we are. But you better watch your stuff in future, lad. Now, tell me, O'Brien, you know... You know, I don't like having hard feelings between myself and you blokes. It, uh, it won't hurt you to tell me what happened to that kiss, will it, eh? Eh? Oh, come on now, relax. This is man to man. Forget that I'm a staffer, I won't cover, eh? No, I tell you what, you, you just tell me what happened to that kiss and then we can forget all about it, you see? It's just so I know, like. You can go and get stuffed. You what? You heard what I said, mate. You've dirty to your nest. Tuffy Thomas will be transferred to Redvan's block next to the old inspection. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, you better watch out for your neck, matey. Give me that. <laughs> Ow! Now get started on cleaning this pig stuff. It's filthy!
you'll be all right with that kit now, Wack. I think it's in the red bonds, Wack. Get off with your work, Peter! Yes, sir! What's on the agenda today, then, Frenchy? An hour's drill, a salt cross and grenade throwing. Two hours PT and drill and full kit for lunch. This afternoon, we're having rifle drill the first period, and over to you for weapons instruction for the rest of the afternoon. Good. Look, uh, uh, do us a tiny favor, would you? Uh, sure. Well, it's that boy, Thomas, you know, he's uh, been taking liberties that lately. I'd like you to give him a bit of a chase in while he's with you. Include me out, man. You've got some dirty work to do. Do the goddamn thing yourself. I'll keep my hands clean. Okay! Get for outside, you guys! Move! What the hell are you doing with old boots on? You wore those boots yesterday. You have to wear your boots in rotation. Get in and change them. It's a so called stuff. Get in and change them. Hey, you took that. Duck. What's up, Duck? Take it since I gotta change my boots. What? Change the boots? He's mad you ruined their boots. Uh, he knows what he'll do to the boots. Yeah. Here, get him up, I'll get him up. Here, put this one. Right. Get the other one, I'll do that. Close here. They're, they're too small, what? What? The boot's too small. Far ah, too small. I take size eight, nine, even. A size eight or even smaller. You know, they couldn't have known that when they put him oh. here. They probably thought he'd just use them for kitty well, inspection, something like that, you know. Hey. Oh, but he knows, though, that now he's Ah, oh, well, I'll have to wear them now, no, anyway. No, no, Tap, look, you better not. You better tell him. Look, you'll ruin your feet. Don't let this all go. I can't tell him. I won't give in no, to that bastard. Get down here, Tap! Look, 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 look it's out of bill, Mike. Look, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Get moving there! Get moving, you! Stop, Tucker. Sir? How long has Thomas been wearing his best boots? Uh, since this morning, sir. This morning? Wore them on first parade just like that, did he? Uh, yes, sir. 
These boots have dirty soles. He must have worn these these mornings sometime, unless he was idle last night. Uh, oh, yes, that's right, sir. You mean he was idle? Uh, no, no, he, he did wear them this morning, sir. Any idea why he changed them? Uh, yes, I told him to change them, sir. You told him? Yes, sir. I did my duty in seeing that the footwear was worn in correct rotation and in full accordance with Queen's regulations. Shut up! Don't you quote Queen's regulations to me. Go about your duties! regulations to me. That's just how far you can go, sir. Still, if we don't get his day, I've got a feeling that that is just around the corner. Hey! Hey! Okay, fuck it up! Come on, move! Okay, you guys! Fuck up in the box! You can look at it all you want, fellas. Unless you're waiting for the bang. Thank you, Tommy. Wake up! Oh! Right! Turn! That's a short trail! Left wheel! Go! Pull back! Look! Look! Change into this morning, they're too small for him, they're giving him help. Now you've got to let him change him or they'll cripple him. <laughs> you've got to do something about it now, yes. or you'll be sorry! Don't get! Don't get! Come on, get the bazooka out of here and the brain outside onto 
Right. Now then. Jules, you're a bring gunner. Break it down. Put it together again. Jules, call the group. Set you to place it then. Stop. Button group to body group. Piston group to body group. Battle group to body group. Magazine group to body group. Attend the complete stop. Right then. Now, the next thing we're going to fall into too much. Who's there? Stop. Yeah. Anybody there? Thomas, what the hell are you doing here, man? Get out, son. Get out. What I think you're doing with that rifle, soldier? Come on, get it back on the rack and get outside. Sharpies, move. Give it here. Finish your fun and games and get outside. You will rot in solitary for this. Give it here or I'll have to take it up, boy. If I have to do that, you'll be very sorry. Haven't I told you never to point a weapon at anybody, even if it's not loaded? Where did you get it? I mean, I was only joking. I, well, I just wanted to see what you were made of, that's all. Well, I, I knew all along it, it, it was an accident. I mean, I, I said that. Did, didn't I, I say it was an accident? Look, what do you want? No, please don't. Please. Give me 